for cheap, fast, and reliable coins. Make sure to head on over to my sponsor, buymadencoins.com. They got quick delivery, 24-7 support, and make sure to use code POOL at checkout for 20% off and an extra 10% coins at checkout. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, and today I'm going to be going over the Easter promo. So today, it just came out. I was in school, so obviously I missed a little bit of it. I was out last night, so I couldn't really post anything about it at the moment. But it looks new and promising. I was getting a little bored of the whole draft promo already. It's obviously going to heat up when the actual draft starts. Now, before we get into the video, guys, make sure to like, comment, and sub. As per usual, you guys have been killing it in that aspect. I couldn't appreciate the support anymore. I'm loving every last bit of it. Thank you, guys. We're past 2K, like I said. So it's a really quick intro. Just want to thank you, guys. And um, that's it. Thanks for all the support. Now let's get into the video. So first things first, let's see what we get for the starter stuff. It's Of course, it's not going to show up right away because that's what Madden likes to do. But in the meantime, let's look at the objective list. It's the first place I like to go with any new thing. So we got the house rules. I'll cover that in a separate video. And we got the color smash objective. So for the objectives, we got complete these objectives to earn draft picks up to tier two eggs. This list will expire on 421 at 10 a.m. Eastern time. So one color smash elite set. Complete any color smash elite sets to earn 200 draft picks quick sell. So this applies to the draft promo as well, but it's new and I like it. Complete any two color smash elite sets to receive one random tier one egg. The tier ones are probably the worst ones considering that's where it is. Tier two egg for one color smash hero set, 1,250 draft picks, 3,500 draft picks, 6,000 draft picks, turn a random one tier egg. So that's cool. Let's go over to the sets to obviously see what's in there because Obviously, all of that means nothing if we don't know what we're talking about. Before I get, actually, I'll do, I'll do the packs afterwards. So for the sets, we got the Color Smash. We got the Defense and the Tie-Dye Master. So for the Defense, we got JJ Watt Color Smash Master. All right, so he's the top card, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, he's the top one. All right, so that, that's what matters to me right now. We got the Derwin James, though. Bradley Chubb, Akeem Tlaib, Miles Jack, Prince of Mukamara, Marcus Williams, Eric Hendricks, Michael Bennett, Larry Ogunjo B. I, I hope I said that right. Karis McKinley. Okay, okay, enough of that. So going up to JJ Watt. This is the card I'm interested in. So we got Derwin James, Bradley Chubb, but keep to leave Miles Jack to collect. Let's see what these prices are looking like right now. I'd imagine, yeah, 250. Okay, so this set will cost you about a million coins to do, but you'll keep JJ Watt and all the other cards. So truthfully, that's not horrible. Snipe these out for about 200, get it for 800k. Sell the JJ Watt. You could probably have the majority of these cards for close to 300k for the whole total thing. Pretty good deal right there. I'll go into that. Just comment down below if you're wondering what I mean by that because I know I confuse people when I speak like that sometimes. But I'm not going to go into it too much because I've said it plenty of times. Trade in both color Smash Masters to earn your pick of a tie-dye Master version at Quicksales for 750k coins. What is this? 416. All right. So that's for another video. That is cool though. That's promising. We got we get to get a Master that sells for it's like a limited time card. And a Nat Color Smash Master. All right. That's going to be cool. We'll go look into that afterwards. Now, the new packs in the store. We got the 12 times color smash bundle. We got the color smash pack and then the seven times color smash bundle. So like I say with any pack, they're ass, don't buy them. I'm not falling for this anymore. I, I, I used to, I used to, I had years ago, like in Madden 13, when I used to spend like hundreds of dollars on Madden when I was like 12, which was the dumbest thing I think I've ever done. Truthfully, I don't, I don't buy, tw who wants to spend $120 almost? Well, I guess if you have, yeah, actually be a hundred. Who wants to spend a hundred dollars? on a bundle at this point in the year i don't see it personally i'd rather buy coins not saying that just because i was coin sponsor i'm saying that because truthfully i'd rather buy coins it doesn't make sense to me or i'd rather earn my coins it's just it's not a, i wouldn't buy them don't I'll, I'll explain the packs but don't touch them so let's do a little math here if we can click into one of these packs so let's say let's go so the chances of pulling an 88 plus are 100 percent, as in they're you're guaranteed an 88 so the chances of you pulling a 97 plus are three percent so not a horrible percentages for 94 plus and 97 but in reality the odds are you're pulling 88 if you pull an 88 they probably go for like 15k right now which means that you're going to lose about 50k per pack and now by the time you pull a good one you i mean unless you obviously everyone does anomalies people pull things but stay away from these packs 50 dollars, 100 dollars. i'll pass at the beginning of the new madden go for it go spend money on packs i don't mind if that's what you want to do to have fun but at this point in the year there's so much free stuff like house rules free packs level of packs i just don't see it i just personally don't see spending money on packs anymore so it's my little spiel on packs i'm always the house always wins never forget that the house always wins you might pull a limited time but all the other packs will pop you end up losing that anyways 
It's just my opinion. Now, let's see if there's any solos for it. We got the Color Smash solo, 0 out of 20. So, hopefully, they're moments. To get a Tier 1 egg. Alright, so I imagine there's going to be more of these that are going to be like Color Smash for Tier 1, Tier 2, and Tier 3. Do I know what these eggs do yet? Not really. I'm going to go check if they were in those sets, but I think they might be for something else at a later time. Let's see. So, moments, moments, moments. They usually stay in order. Let me go to the end. The last game. Oh, they're all moments. All right, cool. So they all moments. They all start in the third or fourth quarter. So these should be. These are gonna be easy to do. Easy, but the thing is that every other reward kind of sucks. I mean, I guess you can. The draft. I guess the draft picks aren't horrible. But personally, they don't excite me. The egg does kind of excite me. I guess you have to earn them all though. Let's go back to see if those are even relevant in the um, in the sets because if they are, I can give you an example of what they're good for now. But I'm thinking, if you collect all those eggs, you're probably able to get a pack for something, which could be this tie dye pack. Oh, the second I'll come back then to complete okay second okay so i'm thinking the eggs are for that let's see if they're for this no they're not okay so those eggs are probably gonna have something to do with that oh is it this any red no why is it saying turning through red okay so no there's nothing here okay so s go do those solos i imagine the eggs will have something to do with this tie-dye or maybe random players at some point but i would collect those eggs they're clearly gonna be a big part it's usually the things that they give you like that in objectives and the solos Usually are for the big set, for like a free Nat kind of thing. Will this player be Nat? Um, I'm pretty sure it said it was. Yeah, you will get a Nat card and 750k. Car Master. Yeah, so you get two things here, it seems like. So this is awesome. Hopefully this doesn't cost a lot of coins. Hopefully it's even free, possibly. I don't know. But that'd be really cool. Let's see if they added anything for online, too. Maybe they added something finally for online. Like play, you know, like uh, when they add to the objectives, like you get eggs and stuff for playing seasons. I doubt it, but if they did, that'd be really cool because that'd give me a reason to play online. Let's see. We got... All right, one more. Rewards and divisions. And as per usual, they've added nothing because that's what they do. They keep this up. I really want 5,000 coins for winning a whole season. All right. That sucks. No incentives to play online, like usual. Now, my opinion on the players, personally. If I were you guys... Who would I want out of these cards? What would I do with these cards? Will I even be getting these sets? So personally, I won't be touching the sets because these sets usually aren't that valuable at the moment, at, at least day one. If the cards drop, there's sometimes there's always a margin where things can be valuable. But for me, I would I would wait, wait it out a little bit, see how this set, see how this levels out, right? Because could this be a flop? Could this be a really good promo? Yeah, but day one, I usually stay away from it day one. So for me, I love this JJ Watt. I love this Derwin James. I'm going to love this Chow. I already know what their stats are on the other cards. I know I know how these cards are going to be. All these cards are pretty awesome. Akeeb, Miles Jack. As long as Akeeb has some speed, awesome. Miles Jack's always awesome. So I'm just going to look at the 97s. Now, if I were you, I'd wait a few days, see if these go down. Now, this set could be very valuable if you look at it, right? So it all depends on what JJ Watt's going for. So if JJ Watt's going for like 600, 700K, which I imagine he's probably going for right now. I mean, I'll go check in a second, but I'll, I'll check right now. Because if he's going for 700k, this set could be highly valuable for certain teams, right? Depending. If you're a theme team, you probably don't care. Because you're not going to even need any. You might need one of those players. But if you need one, you're not going to need the rest. Because they're all different teams. Actually, no. Keep can't even be a Bronco. Because I don't think he has a power-up in this game. Alright, let's see. I probably should have filtered it out. Let's see. JJ, JJ, Watt, Watt, Watt. Okay, so this set's not going to be as valuable. Because he's going for 570, so... I imagine he's going to cap around probably 450k. So if he's at 450k, um, he'll probably, you can, if you do the set, I imagine they're going to be down, those cards are going to be down to like 180, 200. So if they're going to be 200 probably. So 200 times four is 800k, 800k. And then you could sell this card for about 450k. So you subtract that. It's going to cost you about 350k to get this card, to do the set. So you'll have four 97 overalls for 350k. Now, in my opinion, that's not horrible considering 97s are currently, let's see, they're like 150. So you'll be getting, for the price of two 97s, you'll get four. And then you can keep the JJ Watt or you can just sell it. I personally would probably sell it just because of my team. I have the Khalil Mac. I love my Mac. But if you want to sell it and then keep all the other cards, that's not, that's not bad at all, truthfully. But I'd wait because they're going to go down. Don't do it today. Just wait because that J, unless, I mean, if you do it today, it's also that Watt will be 100K more. But he's going down rapidly. I don't like to get cards the first day because nothing's worse than getting a card for about 600k and then slowly watching it go down like 600, 580, 560, 550, 540. It keeps going. So I don't like to be a part of that. So 
that's all for the video going over my promo what i think for day one of the promo hope you guys enjoyed this i haven't done a content video like this since my first week on the channel it didn't do too well for me then again i was a lot smaller back then so hopefully you guys enjoy hopefully you guys liked if you guys liked it make sure to leave a thumbs up comment down below if you like this if you're gonna be doing the watt what's up say what's up whatever you guys want to do also make sure to subscribe goal is at 3k now and um thank you guys for watching that's about it i'm out see you guys in the next video